Hey everybody, Dan here with TrendSpider. And in this video, we're gonna dig into one of our most powerful capabilities in the platform, that's backtesting. Now, everybody knows TrendSpider for our analysis tools, our automation capabilities, our scanning. Backtesting is a little bit less popular in the platform, but we have a very robust and powerful backtesting capability in the system, and it's called the Strategy Tester. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to build a backtest from scratch in just a few minutes to show you how easy it is so you can use it to improve your strategies and become a more profitable and consistent trader. So let's get into it. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the Strategy Tester on the top. That's gonna to open the backtesting window at the bottom of my screen. In this window, I can configure my buy and sell rules for my strategy that I'm gonna backtest. So let's build something really simple here. We're gonna select a condition, we're gonna select an indicator, we're gonna select a simple moving average, crossed up, through another indicator, and we're gonna call that also a simple moving average. Oops. I'm gonna make this a five period moving average crossing up through a 15 period moving average. That'll be our entry rule. So anytime the five crosses up through the 15, the back tester will trigger an entry. Now I'm gonna create another set of conditions on the right here. And here I'm gonna literally do the opposite of what I did before. So I'm gonna select an indicator again, simple moving average, and this time we're gonna do a cross down through an indicator and another simple moving average. We're gonna switch those to be the same five and 15, and then we can set up the rest of the back test and see how this would perform if we traded this way in the past. Now I'm gonna select a market depth to 10,000 candles. So we're gonna, we're gonna automatically trigger a back test the moment that pulls up. And you can see on the screen above how this plots the entry and exit markers on the chart itself. So you can see when you're entering and when you're exiting in your strategy. If you wanna switch symbols, we can do that. As the minute we pull up another symbol, the back tester will rerun itself and tabulate the results with the new symbol and the new data. The same thing is true when we switch time periods. When we switch from weekly to daily, the system is going to automatically retabulate that back test with a, a daily chart instead of a weekly chart now. Now I'm going to show you now, uh, when, now that I've showed you how to build your own strategy, I'm going to pull up one of my own. This is a real back test that I've actually been running and playing with a lot lately. And this is my simple Donchian channel crawling strategy. You'll notice it's very simple. It has two entry conditions and two exit conditions. But look what happens when I run it on the 30 minute time frame on 10,000 candles on SPXL, which is one of the leverage ETFs that I built this strategy for. Now you can see a few interesting things here. First, when I zoom into the performance chart, you can see that while it has been chopped up recently, this particular strategy has outperformed buy and hold, even today, even with the recent drawdown. You can see it's uh, beat buy and hold by quite a bit, right? Buy and hold would have yielded you 2.74% if you bought all the way in 2019 in September and you still held a position today. But if you were selling and buying using this strategy, you'd be up 138.70%. So I'm not saying that you should blindly take the strategy and run off it. I'm definitely not saying that. It's not a perfect strategy. It has a lot of flaws, but I'm showing you to illustrate that it is possible to find alpha using backtesting. Now, the strategy uh, uh, explorer chart here will give you a bit of information about it. At the bottom, you can see the percentage and distribution of winning trades versus losing trades. You can also see the overall uh, results on average of your winning trades and your losing trades and all your trades together. So the best trade we had in the strategy yielded uh, 21%. The worst trade we had in the strategy had a 10% loss. You can see that the average gain, the average uh, return on uh, the trades in the strategy is a little over, a little under half of a percent, 0.4%. It gives you a lot of information about this back test. Now, here's what's really cool. Besides all the cool graphs, which we can spend hours on, I'm not going to do this. Let's say that you find a strategy and like it. Right. Let's say this strategy is your strategy. You like it a lot. Well, there's a few things you can do with that. First, you can click alert me next time this happens on the entry or exit conditions. This will automatically create a pre-populated multi-factor alert. So you can have the system monitor for your entry or exit conditions automatically from the cloud. But that's not all. Let's say you really like this strategy and just want to put it on autopilot. Well, we have this new capability called launch as a trading bot right here. If you click on this, it'll open the bot configuration dialog. It'll pre-select the strategy and time frame that you were testing and allow you to configure a fully automated trading bot that can send signals to an outside system or to your phone or to your email whenever an entry or exit happens. With trading bots, this is how you can automate a Discord bot. This is how you can automate a Twitter bot. This is how you can automate real trades in your own brokerage or crypto exchange accounts. So 
That's it. Uh, obviously, this is just one very, very powerful feature, but there's hundreds of other features in TrendSpider, tons of different trading tools. So you haven't tried it, please sign up now, give it a shot. You can try it for free. And uh, if you like it, we hope you continue using it in the future. That's all. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.